I think uh, one life skill that I think encompasses a number of other life skills is having an open mind. I think we need to encourage in our students an attitude of openness, openness to the possibilities of the English language, openness to um, other cultures that they access through English, and also I think an openness to who they become through the process of learning English and developing their life skills. So I think I'm going to go for that overarching life skill of having an open mind. I think that um, IATEFL has such a broad program that it can be a bit overwhelming. I think my tip would be, yes, go to sessions that are connected to you, your interests and your teaching situation. But I would also say, um, choose something that's not connected at all and try and get a very different perspective from a different teaching situation and see how that informs your own practice and your own uh, teaching context. So I would say um, that would be my tip. Go for something unfamiliar as well as the things that seem to be directed at you as a teacher. Yes, my, the th my argument in my talk is this, that there is a skills gap between what students acquire in the classroom and what they need in the workplace, in the academy, in, the acad in their academic life and in their social life. And the gap is this, that the technical knowledge they acquire in the classroom, the technical knowledge of English, is not enough. They need a broader range of life skills. So the message of my talk is that we need to find ways of organising and making these life skills teachable and then we need to bring them into our classrooms in manageable ways. That's essentially the argument of my talk. I think that would be... Um, I had a very good friend of mine called Doug, who in my early days of teaching, I've been teaching for almost 20 years now, and in the early days of teaching he was something of a mentor for me and the other English teachers in the same town. And he gave me a few pieces of advice uh, about teaching, one of which sticks in my mind very clearly, which is your, your students will learn in spite of you. So sometimes the act of teaching is knowing when to get out of the way, when to abandon your carefully planned lesson plan, because in fact your preconceptions can often get in the way of learning. So sometimes your students will learn in spite of you, allow independent learning to take place and get out of the way as a teacher.